Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members according to the seismic provisions. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to perform a joint code check in the seismic provisions mode. To start that process, go to the main menu, select process followed by joint code check. Now the joint code check command will check the lateral I section moment connection joints according to the selected steel code, specification, and load combinations. Each of our joints after the joint check is performed will be color coded to indicate the status of their design. Now if you can't see these symbols clearly enough on your screen, you can go ahead and increase or decrease the symbol sizes in RAM frame. Now looking at the joint check legend, I can see that several of my moment frame joints might need some stiffeners and a couple of them have failed, which means that the program attempted to add stiffeners and web plates and still couldn't get it to a passing connection design. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at one of those failing joints. To do that, go to the main menu, select process and the joint view update command. Here you can select any of the joints within your model. And I'm gonna go ahead and select one of my failing moment frame joints. Within this dialog, I'll be able to see the codes that were selected along with the checks that were performed. And it will also give me any information regarding any checks that are currently failing. For more information, I can also click on the view results button to review the joint code check report for seismic provisions, and this is for the currently selected joint. Anything in red indicates checks that did not currently pass the code check. Now upon reviewing this information, I want to make sure that eventually the connection design will be successful. And that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find an alternate column size that would work for the joint code check in the seismic provisions. Now I can investigate alternate sizes for the columns within the pull down menu directly within the joint view update dialog. Let's go ahead and try to increase this size and click on the analyze button. Once we do that, we'll be able to see all the code checks that were performed. If the traffic indicator light is green, it means that this column size did pass the code check. Now, after reviewing that information, I've decided that I'd like to go ahead and keep this column size. So I'll click on the Update Database button and then click Close. Now, whenever you make any changes within the Seismic Provisions mode, you're going to notice that the Traffic Indicator Light has changed from green to yellow, meaning that the lateral analysis is not current anymore. So that being said, if you're in the Steel Post Processor, and you make any changes to the yield strength of steel or the section properties for a member, you would need to go back, reperform the lateral analysis, and reperform your code checks. Now, that being said, I do have several other joints that are currently failing. And what I've decided to do is I've decided to go ahead and change all those columns to the same size I just selected. I can assign alternate column sizes in the RAM frame steel post processor by clicking on the assign menu option, going to columns, and then adjusting their sizes. Here I'm going to select the W12 by 230 column size, and then I'm going to click the single button. Here I'm going to select any of those moment frame columns that are currently failing the joint code check. Now that I've completed that process, let's return to the analysis mode and re-perform our lateral analysis considering the new section properties that are assigned to those moment frame columns. Once the analysis is complete, go ahead and navigate to the steel post processor and we're gonna go ahead and quickly perform a member code check and a joint code check.
After we've checked the model in the standard provisions, let's go ahead and navigate to the seismic provisions sub mode and reperform a member code check and a joint code check for the seismic provisions. Now that our design is complete, we can go ahead and see that all of our moment frame joints are currently passing the code check, although several of them will need some additional reinforcement. I can see some of my columns might need some web plates, some of them might need some stiffeners. Now at this point for my particular model, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I'm prepared to detail those joints with that extra reinforcing. The other option you do have available to you is to go ahead and try to investigate alternate column sizes to see if you can avoid the reinforcement. So for this particular model, I can see that my green indicator light on the bottom right hand corner of my screen is green, which means that my analysis and design are current. I'm going to go ahead and accept the results of my joint code check, and this completes my process for performing a joint code check for the seismic provisions in the RAM frame steel post-processing mode. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.